Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I have a package to open. Um, this is something that might come as a bit of a surprise. If you've read the thumbnail, you already know that this is a hank. But um, I'm not much of a handkerchief kind of guy. A ways back, I did a little bit of a like handkerchief carry challenge, where I made myself for a full week carry a handkerchief with me, and that actually went fairly well. I, uh, I found that I didn't mind having a handkerchief on me because it's so unobtrusive to carry, and it did come in handy. Um, it wasn't like the type of thing that I was constantly using, but ever since I did that challenge, I haven't carried a hank every day, everywhere with me, but they do make it in my pocket every now and then, and uh, I keep one in my hiking pack. I've been trying out a fanny pack recently. I'll be doing a video on that soon, so I've been keeping a hank in there, and they're nice to have around. So I've never been very picky about them because I just, I'm not like into them, but I'm in this group chat with a group of guys. I think there's like six of us in there or something, give or take. And we talk a lot. Um, and it's just a really fun group of dudes who we all have a lot of overlapping preferences, um, but we also have some differences in what we like to use and carry. And one of the guys in there is Renegade EDC. And I'm going to link down to him in the description of this video because um, he makes Hanks that A, visually are more appealing to me than most others, and B, all of my like close friends who have purchased these have specifically raved about them to me. Not just like they've made posts, but like privately in one-on-one -on -one conversations have just talked about these Hanks as being the best of the best of what's currently available in the Hank market. So I've been meaning to give one a try and I was just kind of waiting for the right one to come along. Enter this Hank and funny story about it. I'm going to keep on talking as I unbox this. Um, I actually missed the drop on these. This was one where he made just 10 of these, I think, and did a drop and uh, it happened to be kind of a busy family day for me that day. And I had said in the group chat beforehand, like, I'm gonna try to get one, but if I can't, bummer, like, I'll just have to get something else. And another friend of ours in that group chat, my buddy, uh, his Instagram handle is mbwild, a link to him down below as well. Um, amazing photos, amazing written reviews of knives. He's an awesome guy as well. Um, he got one for me <laughs> and wouldn't even let me pay him for it, just, bought it from Renegade EDC and told me to DM him my address to have it shipped. So really cool gesture from him and I owe him one for sure. Um, Cause this is one that I, I quite wanted. So in here we have a strawberry Zots candy. I don't know what that is, but apparently I'm supposed to try it. So I'm gonna be trying a Zots strawberry. Um, thank you, Chris, for that. Oh, there's another candy and an apple one. So we've got two candies in here, bonus, gift that keeps on giving. Then there is this card in here, and Chris is kind of a master of packaging. Um, the packaging that's on the Hank right now is his kind of like faster packaging because it's the holidays right now, and so for him to be able to get out all of the orders, this is like his even less fancy packaging, but it's like already over the top, really fantastic. So there's a really cool card in here, and I'm gonna open it off camera because it's to me, but also I wanna show you this. He literally wax stamps this card closed, which is just a classy touch. It's got his logo on there. How cool is that? So Renegade EDC card right there, and then we've got Renegade EDC wrapped around the Hank, as you can see, and more <laughs> wax sealing it shut. I just think that's so cool. And I love that it's silver wax. How rad is that? So, all right, that's everything from in there. I'm gonna keep this intact if I can actually, cause I think it's dope with that wax left on there. Yeah, so this slip, I'm just gonna keep as a keepsake, I think. So this is, in my opinion, the coolest tank I've ever seen. <laughs> it, it, I don't know about you, but I'm quite into the Mandalorian. I really enjoy the show. I'm not like the biggest Star Wars nerd that there is out there, but I've always enjoyed Star Wars. And so this is probably just the coolest Hank, in my opinion. It's a really cool image, if you will. And uh, this one, I think also, 
he used like glow in the dark thread on. I'll have to do a video more on the details of this. This is just an unboxing, but really, really cool. And then the touch that makes me really excited about his Hanks, there's a couple things. But first, this leather branding that he puts on here just looks so nice to me. I really dig that. His stitching is all really incredible. And then the back being this really nice microfiber, it just, the thing that I use my Hanks most for, I've found, has been my phone screen and my camera lenses, like cleaning things off, and my camera screen. I use my camera just about every single day, I use my phone constantly all day long, and things get smudged, and especially like if I'm filming outdoors, my camera lens gets dusty, stuff like that. I love being able to wipe things down, and microfiber is the way to do it. I also sometimes wipe down my knife blade with that, although I use my shirt just as easily for that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about this. And I love that if I set the Hank this way, it's just this really nice, like deep navy blue, good looking Hank. And then on this side, it's a freaking dope Mando pattern. So I really, really like it. Chris, this is sweet, dude. I, uh, I'm going to be carrying and using this. I think this will be the one that's going to live in my fanny pack because I've been carrying that just about every day when I go out of the house and keeping like a flashlight and my wallet and my AirPods and an extra knife and like just a bunch of odds and ends in and a pen and all that. And I've been keeping a Hank in there as well, but this is way better than the Hank I've been keeping in there. So I think if I put it in that, then I'll actually have it on me just about all the time as long as I'm out of the house, which will be nice. Anyways, this is super nice. I appreciate it. Um, real quick, I will open the card just to make sure if there's a note in here that's worth talking about on here. I'm going to cut it along the top instead of peeling that wax off because I think that wax is dope. All right, let's get the Apache in there. I'm using the green micarta Apache. Chris was one of the ones who said I should get brown micarta, and I deliberately disobeyed him, and I don't regret it because I love the green micarta. Let's see, in here we have, oh cool, it's just a thank you card. And uh, that's a good touch as well. I've always really appreciated when makers do a handwritten card. It's just a nice touch and it's very cool of him to take the time to write it out as he's packaging this up and just give that like kind of personal little little tweak on it. So. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it, dude. Again, I will link down below to Renegade EDC because he makes this and he's fantastic at it. Um, and then I'll also link down below to my buddy MB Wild because he was a real friend and <laughs> not only secured one for me on the drop that I missed, but wouldn't let me pay him back for it because he's a real one like that. So thank you to both of these dudes and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.